bomb together and lower it. Right. That's the I'm uh, First Lieutenant Murray, Ground Intelligence Officer. Your first name, sir? Yep. Adam. Okay, yeah, so we were conducting a uh, pre-deployment site survey. Uh, the intent of that is to first and foremost validate our plan, uh, so to ensure that the range and the facilities are suitable uh, for us to be able to use them, ensure that we have all the requisite information that we need to be able to conduct like safe live fire training, uh, and to also ensure that we understand any sort of stipulations that our partner nations have being that we're using uh, their own training facilities and it's different from working over in the States or over in Okinawa or Hawaii. Right, so the site survey that we did yesterday was for the Mount training site. So for us to conduct uh, urban, uh, non-live fire training, as well as we plan to do a couple of land navigation packages, um, as well as some other small unit training. Uh, the other site surveys that we've done are in support of the amphibious assault that we'll be conducting here in a few weeks. Uh, as well as a uh, aerial insert, which will ultimately culminate in a uh, long 20 kilometer uh, ground infiltration. Yeah, I would say the, the amphibious assault with the ground infiltration is going to be a culminating event. It's going to be kind of the work of, you know, a lot of training that, and uh, planning that we'll be executing over the next week, week and a half. It's an opportunity to work with our uh, bilateral partners, the ROC Marine Corps, to ensure that we uh, maintain lethality as well as we're able to uh, solidify and codify some of our SOPs that we've been uh, training and planning for over the past you know, six to 12 months. Yes, so throughout the entirety of uh, all the sites that we surveyed, we'll be working with the ROC Marines specifically for the amphibious assault. Uh, we anticipate that the ROC Marines will be using their AAVs to conduct the ship to shore movement and then we will also work uh, some fast roping as well as some uh, LZ inserts with our ROC Marine Corps counterparts. I'm Gunnar Sergeant Frazier and I'm the S3 Operations Chief for Camp Mujik. Can you say your first name for me? Brandon Frazier. Okay. okay. Uh, so we took 3-3 out to give them a better idea of the layout and the time and space of, that they'll be operating in at the beaches and then obviously at the mount training facility that they'll be utilizing. Gives them a first-hand look of what they're, ca what they're capable of doing so when they go back and brief their Marines, they're able to come up with a better sea maneuver with their commander and their platoon commanders. Uh, so they were going to be working with the ROC 23 Battalion. They're going to be doing unilateral training as long as well as bilateral training at these events. So what we do at Camp Mujek, we just make sure that the Marines, that when they come over from UDP or off ship, that they have everything they need and we're that liaison with the Victor 33 as it is here right now and the ROC Marines. So I am the liaison for our Marine Corps units or Army units that come over and then we have a Korean liaison officer 
who works with the Rock Marines. Uh, right now, the Rock Marine Corps and our Marine Corps is obviously, they're pretty similar. They set up this very basic, um, similar structure, and then they work well together. They operate the same, they talk a lot of the same language. It's just that actual speaking language that becomes difficult difficulties, so that's why we had these liaison officers. Yeah, so we work hand in hand, we ask a lot of questions, anything that we can't facilitate for them, they're able to facilitate for us, and vice versa. Yeah, so anytime everybody comes out here, they're really excited to work with Rock Marines, see what they're capable of, because it's not something you get to do back in stateside.